This is where we came from. That's where we're going. It's a big one. See a deer down there running? There's a squirrel too. The specifically designed square end on the end of the spit locks in with this upright here. This allows you to have 360 degrees of complete rotation for your spit to give yourself full coverage on whatever you're cooking. It simply slides back, rotates, and slides back forward. Very simple, very easy, very lightweight, and very streamlined. So let me go ahead and put some meat on here and get this fire going. As you can see, the 304 stainless steel ends of the spit are sharp enough to puncture through the meat, but they're safe enough for handling and they're safe enough for your pack. Another really great thing that you can keep in mind is while you're cooking on the side here, you can actually cook on the stove itself. Okay, I just put the noodles in. The water is boiling. I'm gonna let that boil for a while. Get my lid back up here. Let that lock. I enjoy that locking handle. It allows me to just kind of manipulate that pot wherever I want to move it to. Chicken is cooking along over those nice coals. A lot of you may recognize this place. This is my bushcraft kitchen that I built four years ago, three years ago. Um, it's always remained the same. Every, every time I'm done using it, I cover it back up with debris. And every time I come back, I uncover it. And the debris that I've, I've put over it, I end up using again as firewood. So it's actually really worked out in, in my benefit. And it's not really causing an impact on anything around here. So it's working nice. The spit's working wonderfully. Um, I'm actually using the pot right now and I'm using the spit and I'm also recording the Kickstarter video for this So you're gonna see different clips from this on the Kickstarter For the spit And it's 25 degrees 27 degrees now according to uh, According to my watch, so we'll uh, Keep on recording it's the heat coming off. This is wonderful so Having a good time though, as always, I'm out in the woods, why would I not be having a good time? I'm gonna go ahead and pull these noodles off here.
The noodles have boiled. Um, these type of noodles here, you have to let set so they thicken up. So what I did was I'm, I'm actually going to use them to maintain the heat under here and the heat from here and get the residual heat here. So it's cold out here, so they're going to <laughs> maintain their heat inside of the billy can while the meat is still cooking. Let's prep some sides for the meat, shall we? I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of Italian seasoning, whatever brand you prefer to use. Like that. Mozzarella cheese, once again, whatever brand you prefer to use. I'm gonna try making my coffee in this Stanley today. It's pretty cool, it stores your coffee, it stores a couple cups, it stores your cook pot, your water, everything. It's a thermos as well, so let's check it out. Just pull off of there like that. So here are the two cups, they're actually put together like that. But inside here, which is your lid, okay, if you grab a hold of your lid here and you pull this, check this out. Here's your coffee. Pretty neat, isn't it? So let's get some let's get some coffee going, shall we? See if there's a line inside of there like there normally is. So I'm not sure how much or to what line. Ooh, I got a sticker on the bottom. I've never used it before, so we're gonna try it out. I'm not sure to what what line I fill it up to. I would imagine. It shouldn't matter since the press, which is right here, is hollow. It won't really press it all out. So let's just fill it up. I wouldn't imagine that the thermos itself would carry more water than what you could actually put into the pot. The only downfall I see on this is... There's, there's no lid. All right, so I went ahead and just put my titanium bowl on top of my Stanley pot here. That way I'll get a good boil. Um, using wood in as cold as it is, I wanna get a rapid boil as fast as I can and maintain it for a little bit. Um, I am gonna be making coffee, so that's kind of, you know, a must <laughs> out here. Help keep myself warm. And my chicken is almost done back behind there. You can't really see it, but she's just about finished. The beautiful thing about the coffee spit is this allows you to cook your meat on the side while you're still using your pots. I've managed to make two sides and my coffee is just about ready without having to move anything around. All right, I've got a boil on my coffee. I'm gonna show you how simple this is. Or at least I'm gonna show you how simple I think it is. Open this up. Oh, I don't need to open that up, do I? Better put that one back down. Like that. Take my my coffee out here. Like so. Dump it in. Now 
I'm not sure if I need to stir it around, but I'm going to anyway. As you can see, <laughs> look at that chicken in the background. Doesn't it look wonderful? You should smell it. Here comes an airplane, because that's what happens. I'm gonna make you listen to it. All right, so here is the press. And you just press it down. See that? Go nice and slow. That's it. Hmm. All right. And so, I'm not sure if I need to, I'm gonna put that over top. I'm not sure if I need to let it sit. I'm gonna let it sit for about two or three minutes because that's what I'm used to doing anyway. And uh, then we'll try the coffee. Coffee has sat for a few minutes. Let's see what happens here. You see that there? I'm in your way. Let me show you when I'm pouring it. Oh man, it smells good. I got a little bit of stuff right here, but it's a little bit of coffee juice. Okay. So it's got a good seal. Let's just try. I'm not going to split the two cups apart. There's a couple grounds floating in there, which to me is not a big deal, but. Ooh, that's good. And I did let it sit for just about two minutes. Oh man, that's good. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, all right. That is tasty. I'm gonna easily drink all this. This is 17, what is it? I think it was, uh, let me see here, 17 ounces, that's correct. So I'm gonna get rid of my coffee grounds. I'm gonna wash that out in just a moment. All right, so so I, I did, you can see I'm all full of soot here while my meat's finishing up. Um, I did wipe it down with leaves because you know the soot will get everywhere and I needed to clean this out because if I go to pour coffee from the thermos, the grounds that are in here will come out through the pour spout. So you do not wanna do that. So. Um, if you do get this, which is pretty sweet, if you do try to use it, um, just do yourself a favor and make sure that you do empty out your grounds in whatever residual water you have in there or else you're going to make a mess pouring it all over yourself. But you know what? For what it is, um, a thermos and a coffee kit on the go, it's kind of cool. You could also use this to cook food with as well. If you already have your coffee made in here, you can cook with this. Um, but I do like the idea of storing your grounds, having your coffee, having a cook pot, say if you're on like a bike packing trip per se, because it is a little heavier, you know, but it is also a whole coffee kit. Pretty neat. It's definitely not just something that's gimmicky. I'll tell you that much. It's actually useful. You just have to use common sense, clean your, clean your pot off, clean it out, dry it out, or else when you go to pour your coffee, there's a spout right here. Okay, you're, you're gonna pour it on yourself. Even if you pour it up from the backside, you're gonna pour it all over your hands. So, do yourself a favor, use some common sense with it. It's pretty neat. Mm. 
Look at them noodles. Look at them noodles. Noodles are still really hot. Mm -hmm. Here's my first bite rule just to get everybody in it. Mm. These are chicken flavored noodles. You'll see why they're chicken flavored in a moment. I'm eating chicken. <laughs> So I'm gonna do something that's a little different and I'm not even really gonna clean the pot out because you know what, I'm using it out here in the woods anyway. But I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna stick it in there all nice and dirty like that. And I'm gonna set it, well, I'm gonna set it in this direction like that. Okay. Now, normally, you would do the firebox in this X. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna set it sideways. I'm gonna do it that way? Yeah. I'm gonna set it that direction. I didn't bring my other two, um, st my fire sticks. So what I am gonna do, I'm gonna set it that direction and we're gonna bring ourselves around here and give you a better shot. First things first, let me show you how absolutely wonderful Absolutely wonderful this this turned out. Oh man. Look at that. I'm gonna pull this oh pulled right out of there super easy. Got a little warm here, but it's super firm, nice and juicy. Okay, check this out what I do next. I took my bruschetta mix and I just put it right on top of there. I'm just gonna stick it in cool thing is the coals are actually keeping this extremely warm so I'm gonna go ahead and stick that in there like that close it up all I want to do is just melt the cheese in my vegetables on top I'm gonna feed it with some more wood here just to get the fire going okay it's been sitting in here about seven minutes here let's see how we're looking I don't like I said this isn't Oh yeah, that looks great. Okay, so let me grab my multi-tool here. Let's go ahead and pull this out. See how she's looking. Oh, I got a twig in my food. See how she's looking. Oh yeah. What do you think? Pretty good? Pretty tasty? Let's put it right down here. Get a better view in just a moment. All right, there we go. Got some chicken bruschetta of the woods on top of a chicken pasta compliments of the coffee spit of course in the firebox zebra pan zebra billy pot let's eat it okay well I tell you what using the spit was fantastic using the stove obviously was wonderful um, look at this. See that? So, I cannot, cannot let this go without, well, let me, let me show you first of all the bite for the first bite right there. Get all these vegetables on there and some of that bruschetta. Mmm. Thoroughly cooked all the way through. Look at that. Absolutely wonderful, wonderful meal. Brilliant. I'm so happy with this. Let's take some of the pasta. Let's just throw everything on this bite. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. Mmm. 
So the spit will be coming available on Kickstarter. And uh, this video that I'm doing will be the Kickstarter video snippets of it. I'm gonna keep the Kickstarter video very short. I'm gonna show some highlights. Mm. Chicken is super juicy. Um, keeping it off the direct heat and then keeping the coals underneath it. Now, a couple times the coals, you know, they would fire up a little bit, but that's just because, or I just spit. <laughs> that was just because there's, it's juicy. Because there's wood underneath it. Oh, that coffee is phenomenal. It's a different brand of coffee. It's called uh, Chock Full of Nuts Coffee Brand. It's uh, it's really good. I'll I'll put a picture at the end of the video so you guys can see it. But it's got a fantastic flavor. The coffee, like I said, the the coffee Stanley kit, it's not a gimmick. I know some people uh, may say that it, it looks gimmicky, but it, it really isn't. I mean, they've really come a long way with the ideas. Just use common sense with it. But anyway, um, back to the spit. I'm gonna take this big old bite in just a moment as soon as I'm done telling you this. Um, the spit will be available on Kickstarter very, very soon. In fact, by the time this video comes up, I'm hoping to have the Kickstarter pop up right after it. And uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm nervous about it because when you, when you really put everything you've got into something like this, which is streamlined. It's not too sharp. I mean, it's not going to poke you a hole in any of your stuff. You know, it's it's a hard nuts crack to explain it, honestly. It's you're, you're putting yourself out there. You know, you're really putting yourself out there for people and, you know, some people may like my videos and some people may not, but you know, my videos the cooking and stuff like that, it's fun for me, but it's also a way for me to to show my kids and then my kids come out with me and that's, that's what it is. Plus, I mean, look at this food. You get to eat it. All right, everybody, thank you so much for coming along with me. I am, I'm stuffed. <laughs> I'm stuffed and uh, I got a heck of a walk back, so that's all good. But I really appreciate, you know, your guys' views. I appreciate your comments. Um, as far as the Kickstarter goes, I'd really appreciate some shares on that. Um, get it out there. Get it known. Even if the spit's not something that you would be interested in, I'd appreciate a share just to kind of let people know about it. And who knows? Maybe some other folks would really like it. Um, from me and my family, I thank you so much. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Honestly, it should be criminal to eat this good out in the woods. <laughs> Don't ever try to watch yourself in your viewfinder We're trying to put a piece of food in your mouth. You'll miss. <laughs> what you guys can't see is <laughs> how windy it is out here. I'm down in a gully. Maybe look at the trees up there. It is freaking cold out today.